Hello everyone, good day and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fred. So today we're going to be looking at the part two of how to construct ellipses, okay? So this method is called the rectangle method. So again, you'll be given the major axis and the minor axis. So this time around, we'll take our major axis to be 140 mm, that's, for four centime that's 14 centimeters, and our minor axis is going to be 80 mm, that is eight centimeters all right so with the major axis and minor axis given you construct a rectangle all right so how do you do that i already drew the length okay just position your set square okay assuming these lines were not there okay position your set square all right and draw a line any length of your choice draw another line any length of your choice then you come over and indicate 140 mm or 14 centimeters as the length all right so this is 14 as you can see and 80 as the breadth all right so here you have 80 centimeters okay so with this you complete the rectangle using your set square all right make sure the edges are 90 degrees okay so you draw this line up Remember, this is 140 mm. So you measure eight here as well, eight centimeters or 80 mm. All right. So you connect these two points, and there you have your rectangle. So you can erase any excess lines that you have there. Okay. So what you do next is you draw the major axis and the minor axis all right remember this is eight centimeters and this is 14 centimeters so half of eight that would be what four so you just make a dot here all right then this is eight half of eight is four make a dot then connect both you have your major axis all right you do same for the minor so if this is 14 this is 14 so this will give you this is seven seven is half all right and 14, you make a dot here, seven, seven is half, then you connect both points. All right, so this is your minor. So major axis, minor axis. So you can call this point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and uh, H. Okay, so what do you do next? Now, you divide this line AD into eight equal parts, all right? So how do you go about doing that? Now, draw uh, a line at an angle to line AD from D. Any angle of your choice. You can use any angle of your choice, all right? Draw a thin line. Remember, everything we're doing here, they are all thin lines, okay? Draw a thin line there. Then you use your pair of compass, okay? Any radius of your choice. Now, it shouldn't be too much. And it should, shouldn't be too what, short, okay? Just an average radius, okay? And step off eight equal divisions here. How? Now, needle, use any reasonable radius of your choice. You needle on D, all right? Step off eight equal divisions. So that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. All right. So what you do next is you connect the last division. This is eight. All right. You connect it to A. Okay. So after doing that, you transfer this line. Okay. This line, so align your set square with this line you're seeing here, then you support with your ruler. All right, like this. Make sure this one is properly aligned and this is uh, properly supported with your ruler. So you slide and transfer to other points. Sorry about that. 
okay so you slide here you draw lines to touch line ad please make sure this ruler is not shaking it is fixed so the only uh drawing equipment you slide here is the word set square you will discover that e will correspond with this point here because it's actually half of the line so you continue and there you have it all right okay so you can call those points one two three four three two one all right so what you do next is you transfer those points actually you're supposed to do the same thing you've done here to this other side but it's going to be a waste of time so there is another method you can use you can transfer this point to cd all right uh, sorry cb all right so how do you do that you can use your set square and ruler as well so you align your set square with this line here support with your ruler okay remember your ruler is fixed so you slide to the first one then then you make a dot there's no point drawing a line just make a dot here all right slide to number two and make a corresponding what dot here to number three what we're actually doing we're transferring the points to the other side all right to three because four is already there so you slide to three two make a dot and one all right all right so what you do next is you divide line e f that is the major axis into eight equal parts as well so draw a line from e at any angle of your choice any angle of your choice just draw a line thin line all right then use your pair of compass you can use any radius of your choice as well and step off eight equal divisions so you place on e step off eight equal divisions so that's one two three four up to eight okay so these are eight equal divisions then again this last division here remember one two three four five six seven eight now you connect this point of intersection here with f okay then you transfer this line align your set square like this all right support with your ruler then you transfer again transfer all of the points now once again you will discover that the midpoint here will correspond with this if properly drawn okay as you can see okay so there we have it eight equal divisions then you can call here three point three three prime two prime one prime one prime two prime three prime they are all eight equal divisions one two three four five six seven eight so now what you do next is you connect g to one point g to two to three you connect h to one h to two h to three like this with thin lines You do the same for the other side h to one to two to three g to one two and three okay so there we have it now what you do next is you connect the point h all right you draw a line from h through three to intersect with line three now remember this is g line that g three g two g one so if you are drawing through three must intersect with what line three through two must intersect with what line two that's two prime now through one must intersect with what line one so from h you draw a line please do not miss this point here three all right on this horizontal line that is the major axis this point three so you draw a line from h all right through the point three to intersect with this point here with this line this is line three all right so you have an intersection here so this is a point on the ellipse you do same for the other one 
a line through two from H through two. Now this is line two through two to intersect with line two and through one to intersect with line one. So this one is intersecting, this line here is intersecting with line two and through one is intersecting with what? Line one. Okay, so you do the same thing for G. So you draw a line from G through the point three to intersect with what? To intersect with line three. So through the point three, okay, so you have it here, the point of intersection. So you draw another line through two. There's a point two, all right? To cut line two, this is line two. You have one point here and through one, through the point one, to cut line one. So you have this point here. So you re repeat the same thing for the other side, all right? You draw a line through three, the point three to cut line three, and so on. Okay, so there you have all the points, all right? Then remember the ellipse will go through G. G is a point. H is also a point. It will go through F. F is a point and E is a point. So with your flexible curve or your French curve, you connect the ellipse. Okay, so there you have your ellipse. Now, once again, there is a video I did in case you do not know how to connect the, the points, okay, on an ellipse. There's a video I did concerning that. You might want to check it out, okay, on how to use a French curve and a flexible broomstick to draw ellipse. So this is the rectangular method.